It's the first step in route to a series finale with life-changing money on the line. This is Stairway to Millions. It's final table coverage of event number one, the $1,000 buy-in coming to you from Las Vegas, Nevada, where we welcome you to the Poker Go studio. Jeff Pot alongside Brent Hanks in the broadcast booth. And Brent, a new series, a new concept being brought to the table. That's right, Jeff. This is poker's first parlay. Mm. All these folks at the final table, including this guy, Joey Chong, have all earned themselves a seat into the next event, the 2K. Every time you cash, you always advance. From 1K to 2K to 4K to 8K to 15K to 25K to 50K to the 100K, perhaps. Chong joined at this final table by Justin Saliba by our chip leader, Rich Dixon, representing Wyoming. You gotta love this guy. How about the buffalo on the yeah, hat? You like that, don't you? Number one on the all-time Wyoming leaderboard, Jeff. Let's take a look at this leaderboard. It is presented by Storm X. It does have Rich Dixon's name on top with 6.5 million in chips. Justin Saliba with about 4 million. Ching Lu in the mix. He's in third, a bit more than 3.2 million in chips. Dan Sepion, Joseph Chong, and Mehdi Anushar round out our final table at event number one of Stairway to Millions. So before, Brent, they can jump in to the 2K event, we got to play out this 1K because there's $28,500 up top, our final six, guaranteed 7,600 bucks. And look at that trophy. Very unique trophy indeed. Jeff, maybe you can't tell, but that's a, that's an actual staircase. No, I get it. I get right. what they were going for there. Thank you for the explanation there. This is Stairway to Millions. <laughs> it is the event number one final table. We are underway. A couple minutes left at this level, 50K, 125K, a 125K big blind ante. And there is a look at our chip leader, Rich Dixon, with the ace-jack offsuit. 275. Open here to 275K. Contractor out of Wyoming. He saw this series, the Stairway to Millions, and he just had to be a part of it. He was so excited oh, face, to put himself to the test inside the Poker Go studio amongst so many great so players. Short, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's been watching yeah, these Poker Go high rollers for fun. years. Considers this his <laughs> chance at a parlay, a satellite, a ladder, whatever you yeah, want to call it. Day one, Mr. Dixon busted Ali, I'm sure of it, Jeff. Hit the music and let's take a look at the overview for Stairway to Millions. We mentioned the escalating buy-ins from 1K all the way to $100,000. If you make the money, you get an entry into the next event. All of these events, two-day No Limit Hold'em tournaments and $3 million in guarantees. It was a 100K guarantee for this event. That one almost doubled. Hot start for Dixon, looks down at two kings. Say that again, he came in as our chip leader, as you pointed out, more than 50 big blinds. And he is just attacking relentlessly with the goods. Saliba with a pretty one on the button in the form of the queen jack of clubs. Seen Justin Saliba more and more over these last couple years. Uh, really has taken poker to the next level loves to compete with the best players at the biggest buy-ins. Awkward stack here, 30 big blinds with this sort of hand. Queen Jack suited, I think it's good enough to maybe consider peeling. Let's take a flop. Chuck and Sepio out right of the now, We can wait till the last second to play. Okay. I don't know, I, that's a good question. Cause that'd be Jack 5-4, trouble for, for Saliba. Nice. I heard, I know if we didn't make the final table. Yeah, I think you play, yeah. yeah so I'm not sure. <coughs> I keep forgetting late red clothes at like Dixon checks. Really so nice like, check by Dixon. No. Extremely dry yeah, that's, that's texture. Good. He's yes. hoping his opponent Wait has connected first. with this sort of hand. Perhaps trying to dial up a check raise. Saliba connects, Saliba fires, 250,000. Brent, there you go, you said it. There is that check raise. 
and just puts Saliba in a horrible spot. To make matters worse, Anushar has five big blinds in his stack. Seemingly would be out in a heartbeat. 1900 hour pay jump from sixth to fifth. Fold. Wow. Fantastic lay down by Saliva. <coughs> Just gets rid of the Queen Jack. That is a tremendous fold yeah, by Saliba. Perhaps a little history between these mm. two. Now you're like kind of new to poker. You don't have to announce fold. I didn't want to use a timer. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Is it 29? <laughs> you, just, you can just throw your cards I was going to be middle. late. I was going to be late to swoop around. 190 entries <laughs> and smashing yeah, the guarantee. Sure. First place prize of more than $28,000. We saw some pretty heavy hitters, including Chance Corneth and Shannon Shore. Brad Owen, Brent, got that cash, finished in 28th. He's firing in today's 2K, which is taking place in the Aria poker room. Yeah, he's out there vlogging the experience as well. And speaking of experience, how about the all-in experience for our short stack? Mike Anushar seven, rips it in with the ace jack for 725,000. That's Ching Lu. Ace 10 in the high jack. A pretty good hand, ace 10, considering how short Anushar is. What a great fold. I think I would have had that in me. Leave it up to me, huh? You will leave it up to our chip leader with 8 7. And Anushar gets one through right before the big blind. Should have sweated together, but I don't know the rules. <laughs> Mike Anushar lives in L.A. It's about $186,000 in career live Dad, tournament earnings. Seven, eight, so it wouldn't have been so exciting this <laughs> Once I turned one He's been playing off. for about 20 years or yes. so, Jeff, but only the last five years he started to take the game very seriously. He's got himself a coach, and that coach has helped him not only with his game, but also the mental <laughs> aspect. He said he used to be a bit of a hothead when he would compete. Now he's learned to mellow out a little bit and take the game in stride. Said he doesn't punt it off when he gets a little upset. Takes a lot. Easier said than done. Uh, you certainly know a lot about that. That's true. That much is most certainly true. Blinds have gone up. 75K, 150K with a 150K big blind ante. 30 minute levels. In the first three events of Stairway to Millions. Oh, eat before you play. Next one. No. Some hobby areas. Yeah, yeah, I see that. You say we get a free meal? Yeah, Dixon very uh, easily could have just moved it in yeah, there with 10-8 and oh, okay, gotcha. put Anushar to the test. Though. But he's yeah, going to take a we'll uh, yeah, like little, little bit of a lower variance okay. approach. Perhaps now we just stab. Oh, look at this. Don't connect, just check. Checks back. The turn is a seven. A gut shot for Dixon. Open ender for a new char. Actually, sorry, a two double gutter draw. For, Dixon, yeah, for Dixon. A beautiful card. Any nine, any six. And now he leads for two hundred thousand. Uh, you know, by betting two hundred thousand, even if for whatever reason, if a new char were to move it all in, I think he'd be priced in and have to call. Anushar saying, I'm getting a great price. Open ended. Just so short. Yeah, Hancock. awkward stack size. Has to fling it into the muck. Smooth ride so far for our chip leader entering the day. Rich Dixon, who has extended that chip lead. He's got about 40% of the chips in play. Yeah, so uh, what a feeling yeah. to have. No so pressure funny, yeah. coming into the day. Jeff, you and yeah, I had a chance to speak with him. <laughs> Just one step at a time, one hand it's at a nice. time, and he's <laughs> embracing this entire experience. <coughs> Flew to Vegas just for this series. It's quite
make the start for Dixon. Chong with fives and a little bit more than 12 bigs into the muck. Maybe wondering why he would fold oh. fives. Well, it's because he knew Dixon had two queens <laughs> behind <laughs> right, him. Right, that's why. <laughs> hey, how many big points do I have? 300,000. are considering things with Queen 10. It's just so short. He knows he's obviously getting called. I'll tell you yep. what, he's lucky he doesn't have Queen Jack there. A couple Broadway Ooh. tickets, he might be going in. Now this is trouble. Lou in Lou. some trouble here with just more than 20 bigs and with nines in the big blind. Oh. That's just call. Got to give him credit Absolutely. for taking that. Lower variance approach rather than moving it all in. King Jack three. Well, all of a sudden now we can easily get away from our two nines on this sort of Broadway texture. Check, check on the flop. Turn brings the four of hearts. Contemplating maybe a little bit of a a feeler bet, Jeff. Something small, four hundred thousand. Just in one. case, just nice in case pot. we're up against Ace High, we can get a little bit of value. He's hoping his opponent would simply fold here and seize the bad news. Where's the deuce? About one point six million in the middle. Oh my, reaching again, I. I can't make sense of this one. Seven hundred thousand. The lead for seven hundred. He's absolutely it, turned nines into a bluff, yeah. whether he knows it or not. Dixon in sort of a, a tough spot, right? Looks like a king could be a king, but we beat plenty of bluffs. And for whatever reason, when a, an opponent has a hand like well nines, I don't know how he's got that. We're ahead of that as well. There are plenty of bluffs that probably do lead turn. I don't know what the river bet is designed to accomplish. Unless he thinks he's trying to fold out some sort of jack or yeah. perhaps two queens, two tens. Like last night, make it so tough on a guy. I think he's just got too much of a hand to fold here. Sometimes you got to pay him the money, Jeff. Smile. Just make the call. We'll see the good news. <coughs> yeah, I just misread my stack and folded a, a pair. <laughs> you had a set? Well done. No. Oh. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> we get heads up, come put a doodle on it. <laughs> I was about to come in with you guys anyway. Oh, you did. Dixon hey, out to more than 9 million in like, chips. That's what a, a start for this right. Wyoming native. <laughs> somebody would open it. Less than 13 big points? That was me. It's like it's like a walker head. theory. I had a <laughs> two queens. It's <laughs> the only thing I've heard. Chips couple and nominations years. brought to you by Thrive. 25K is worth yeah, purple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bumblebee is worth 100K a piece. Or Dixon mentioned blockers. Did have the queen of diamonds. Does block a lot of bluffs, but still, like you said, sometimes you got to fling in those chips on that run out. Sepial now, two jacks yeah. and a, again, a short stack. Yeah, everybody's going to be a little uncomfortable except Dixon. All in? All in? Sepial says, let's play for it all. Sepion. 
much you find there? More than seven hundred thousand dollars. He's just been tournament. a very steady like grinder yeah. throughout his you uh, relatively that's young that's career from grinding. Indiana. Yeah, yeah. Resides in, I believe it's Valparaiso, Indiana, or oh. Bloomington. From Valparaiso originally. Bryce Drew territory? Bryce Drew territory, Jeff, yeah. To Ivy Tech Community College. And about 20 caches on his resume with the World Series of Poker. Two titles for Sepiel this year, or last year, I should say. We're in 2022 this year, right? I believe okay, so, Okay, so Jeff. two titles yeah. last year. Won an 1,100 MSPT event in Iowa for $162,000. He played a lot online during the COVID lockdowns. Was eager to get back and play some live poker. No shame in folding. I didn't look at it. Just, just letting you know. Saliba versus Chong are two most experienced players. All in. All in. Saliba going the max pressure route. Man, this is just a great shot with the 10 5 suited. Joey, I think, normally may consider calling with king four off but because anushar is just so short yeah oh, that was it doesn't cool. make sense to <laughs> really give away that. money put yourself at risk <laughs> you're too rich right now you gotta wait it out <laughs> sorry look at justin saliba's bio board presented by gpi you get a koala you have a woman going out former sudden, soccer player at, at the university know, of exactly. dayton <laughs> studied chemical engineering Seen him this pop up on the high roller scene. <laughs> oh, not true. Why am I even tanking? Come on. Uh, just a classy kid. Last yeah. two years on the Poker Go Tour, a lot of ups and downs and swings. And it didn't matter. His attitude is just. It's great. It's really tremendous. Every day wants to get better. He pushes himself every day to improve. He doesn't let a downswing affect his decision making. Ching Lu says all of it with the Queen 10. Even with that short stack looming in Anushar, Saliba has King Jack in the small blind. Shove is for almost 11 bigs. And Zhang will just have to fold the ace three. Oh, sorry, Saliba was on the button there. <laughs> I, I don't. I forgot how to play. <laughs> Every hand, I'm like, what am I supposed Lou to do? back up to two million in checks. <laughs>A new season of High Stakes Poker is coming to PokerGo.com featuring legends Doyle Brunson, Daniel Negrano, and Phil Ivey. Subscribe now so you don't miss an episode. Use the code HSPSTAIRWAY. That's HSPSTAIRWAY to get a new annual subscription for less than $7 a month. Uh, HSP Stairway. I see what they did yeah, there. They high combined stakes high stakes yep. poker mm -hmm. with Stairway. Did you notice Doyle and the Aviators, by the way? Yeah. Boy, you're in for a treat with this new season, Jeff. You it were here during phenomenal. the shooting, right? And yeah. A lot of buzz oh, surrounding it. Oh, maybe one of the sickest hands in the history of the game occurred <laughs> on the upcoming season. Oh, and I am oh. not exaggerating. Like, what, three tables last night? The same situation? <laughs> I like the easy ones. <laughs> nice. What did you show? Ace deuce. deuce. I was crushed. Was good. Appreciate y'all tuning in on YouTube on our Poker Go channel. <laughs> Over and over and where yeah, we will be throughout this entire way. final table and throughout way. every final table. I think I'd have position on you, but instead I just keep giving it to you. I've giving the you people like what they want. Two or three times, right? Yeah. I think twice. three. So hit that like twice. button, hit subscribe. Just twice. Just twice. We do appreciate it. Happy to be here with you. I didn't get it in very good. Throughout these next eight days. <laughs> the 5-7 was the scary one. Yeah. I don't mind that one. It's a fair fight. All in? All in. 1.5 and change. Chong says all the chips with the king six of diamonds. Folds around to our short stack in the big blind. Mike Anushar. <laughs> Just 350k behind in the 7-4 of diamonds.
just a little more than two bigs behind. Yeah, so you, I, I think he has to go with yeah. this one, Jeff, simply because he's he's so short. Yeah, I, I don't really, it, it's amazing. I'm not very well studied in these spots. I, this could be the right fold. I, I genuinely do don't know the answer. <laughs> you and I also caught up with Joey before uh, oh, play yeah, started. Okay. And you asked him, what is it about the Stairway of the Millions that made you want to come and play? And his answer? He said, I live here. I had nothing else to yeah. do. Yeah, it's like, okay. I thought we'd talk about the format like, or uh -huh. the concept. Uh -huh. Everyone would have just been all in called like <laughs> four times. <laughs> is that what it was like? Oh, yeah. 28 players cashed, six remain, all guaranteed $7,600, more than 28K up top. Chong lets go of the fours and the hijack. And for Seppi, again, kind of similar to Joey's fold with the fours, it's awkward. Here, we're going to go ahead and just try and get away with it with a min raise. Maybe we get heads up against the short stack, which that's looks to be the case right now. That does happen, at least for now. Mm -hmm. Anushar shove is for 350K. Lewis, queen 10 in the big blind. 350? 350. call for wow. those of you new to the game in this specific scenario after Lou called Sepial did not have the option to re-raise could only call or fold one more seat does call and we have 1.2 million in this pot pot comes 10 6 3 all diamonds might look like yeah. good news for a new char but Lou is the better pair of 10s Ace on the turn. Sepiel takes a commanding lead. Yeah, and a quick look back there by Lou, seeing if that queen happens to be a diamond, <laughs> and it is not. Uh, a stranglehold now on the hand for Sepiel. A good opportunity, I think, to bet, deny some equity and protect that hand. Get value from a 10, 50, from a worse ace. And of course, you know, you don't want a free flush draw to have a look at that river. <laughs> it loose in a really bad spot. It, it looks like his opponent should have an ace. Why else would he be betting? Opportunity to bust the player, and here we go. Cards on their backs. Yeah, he'll be thrilled when he sees this. A new Charolin and at risk. It's a 10 or an 8 on the river to stay alive. And that river card is a 3. Good game. Good game. That'll do it for Micah Nushar. Out in 6, $7,600 on the board. At Stairway to Millions, and Brent off to play the 2K. Yeah, he's automatically registered for that 2K. He can hop right in there. And, you know, that's a really wonderful debut for him inside the studio. He's made his mark. Got to have a little bit of confidence now for the remainder of the yeah, series. Absolutely. Number five in event number one, all guaranteed $9,500. Another $1,900 pay jump at the next elimination. it in the small line with the a7 of diamonds. Saliba has the a7 off. Shove is for 10 bigs. Saliba does make the call. Hey, Ooh, he's got two yeah. flush draws versus one. Yeah, chop it up, Jeff. <laughs> okay, no drama. Let's just no, keep let's it see clean. some drama. Let's see a sweat for one of the players. Just hard, a river hard, sweat hard for somebody. Okay. You're right. I, I'm a fan of blood. Maybe a little car, huh? <laughs> is it possible to get a black car? Diamond. Cock? Too hard. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <no. laughs> Too hard. Three hard. Three hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
Pubs are fine. It's uh, too hard, one diamond and a flat. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. That works. That's, that's better, right? That's better. I'll go with that. Oh, shit. <laughs> How about Ace-10-6 okay. rainbow? So oh. one diamond. Something. You have something. Uh, yeah, I have yeah. something. Uh, Lou does have something. He can turn a diamond. No, sure. Oh, Which boy. he does. Oh, oh. And we do <laughs> <laughs> have the sweat. <laughs> oh, mm. We uh, find a diamond. Ace of clubs. He wow. How in the last the ace. world did he do that? <laughs> a lot of aces in this thing. Of all the cards you could summon, the Ace of Clubs, <laughs> the last one in the deck, how do you call that Bit and get it right? He said Eight of Clubs. Oh, I thought he said the Ace of Clubs. Oh, I thought. Oh, he might have. He said Eight of Clubs. Storm X, Poker Go's new exclusive cryptocurrency partner. I'm sure you had a lot to do with those negotiations. You're a big crypto guy. Yeah. Yep. That's about all I can We're say. But no, I mean, it's wonderful. Storm X is really, on we've, board, got yeah. a, we've got a really cool event coming together uh, inside the studio with Storm X. I'm excited about that. More details to come, I'm sure. Storm X, the leading cryptocurrency cashback provider. And again, Poker Go's exclusive cryptocurrency partner. Nice. Happy to have Storm X on the team. King Queen. Joseph Chong. Falling. And the gloves have come off now. Yeah. You can see these Don't shorter stacks starting to get a bit more aggressive after we've lost Anushar. Here comes Joey the baby. Yeah, look out. He said today he, he doesn't feel any pressure at all. He just doesn't want to look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like there's a little pressure there. Sometimes that's hard to do. Studied psych, studied math, studied... Economics at UCSD. Of course, that famous third place finish in the 2010 Maine for more than $4 million. Yeah, he has been around the block and back again. The kid has been playing a ton of poker over the years. Good morning. More than $15 million in career earnings. And, and Lou just rip city wow. in the cutoff with 10 bigs in the 5 3 of clubs. Straight YOLO. And it, it does indeed get through. For Ching Lu. Won the WPT Venetian event in March of 2021. Thank you so much. Yeah, good, thanks. $1,000 buy-in for this one. 28 places paid. If you made the money, you also made event number two. Just registered right into the 2K event. It really is a unique format, the way that you can parlay throughout the course of this series. It'll be interesting to see if somebody can make a real run at this keep thing. keep on spinning. Back to back to back caches and have a shot at some real money. Here we are again. That's, now that's the first. before he finds something. <laughs> uh, Albert in the YouTube chat says, I just rewinded it five times. He said the ace of clubs. So, Brent, you are right. Thank he you, just called Albert. that river card. Bang. Uh, nice little stab here by Sepiel. Gets it done. Friendly, yeah. That's much friendlier. You about fell out of my chair when you went though. Seen that in 16 hours of poker. <laughs> Very tricky. On oh, so it's up to everybody out there on YouTube tuning in. Jeff and I are in the chat. Make sure you hit us with questions, comments. Who are you guys rooting for? Where are you tuning in from as well? Let us know. Worldwide audience for this one. Appreciate every single one of y'all tuning in. Yep. So many tricks. <laughs> Small blind, it's Dixon, the chip leader, with the ace-10 of hearts. Lou in the big, about 13 bigs, to start the hand. 
325. Dixon will raise small out of the small blind. Lou just flings the jack four into the muck. Rich Dixon has 12 career titles in his career. His biggest tournament win for about $44,000 won a <laughs> HBT Colorado $400 event. He's a game leader, running good. Four World Series final tables for Dixon in his career. Crazy. Finished fifth at the $600 deep stack just last year for 68K. Two nines for Sepio. I think this hand is strong enough where we don't need to just shove. Let's raise the minimum and hope to induce, find some action. And with 20 big, Sepial does just that. So we look at the king five offsuit in the big blind. This event is played with a 30 second shot clock. You see the time extensions in front of each player. Those are worth 30 seconds a piece. So I can't get a four minute hand anyway. So we got people from all over the place, yeah. Jeff and Chad. We got Switzerland, LA, New York, Kentucky, Texas, Ireland, Pittsburgh. How the heck did the Steelers make the playoffs? Pretty remarkable. What huh? in the world? They might win it all. No, they won't. <laughs> Wisco Barron says, Hank says, a Buffalo Bills hoodie, St. Bonnie's T-shirt, and a Bills hat on. Well, he's got half of it right. A known prodigy asked why I didn't interview a new shard. Not on, not on sidelines for this one. Stuck in the booth with you for Stairway to Millions. Well... Jeff, you know, we could probably make some adjustments if you want to get out there on well, sidelines. I can handle the booth. Okay, everybody wins. I know there. you love wearing a suit and loafers out there. I'm not used to seeing you in jeans and a hoodie. Yeah. And a little it is a no gamble, no future hoodie, though. You've kind of still got the Mr. Rogers thing going on, yeah. though. You know, you hang that up in your closet at home. You've got the same sneakers yeah. on that you've wore for the last 15 years. <laughs> These are new. Well... <laughs> But they look like the ones right. that. <laughs> Saliba so limps in in the small blind, and Chong looks down at two tens. Yeah, Chong could consider jamming. He might just raise and hope that he finds a bit more action. Tens is very strong. Blind versus blind. 450. There it is. And we'll just raise. Just shoot it up. 450. Three X to go. Hoping to get a little action. Nothing. <laughs> well, what a ride it's been for Joseph Chong since his third place finish at the 2010 main event. More than $11 million in live tournament earnings, 14 tournament wins, almost 250 live caches. He's currently 26th on the all-time money list in the United States. Currently 48th on the overall all-time money list. But when this tournament is over, he passes Ali Amshurovich for 47th. But Ali Amshurovich is going to be a tough one to stay ahead of on the all-time money list. 2021 Poker Go Tour champion. Queens and threes for Chong. 150. And and obviously, for trouble for Sepio here. Not folding a pair, especially to a minimum size bet. In the event that he were to make two pair, well, we're going to have an all-in collision. Trips is a disaster. 
it, it's one of those spots, Jeff, where you really can't get away. Although, if he is raising oh. here, four hundred twenty-five thousand. He makes it 425k. Uh, yeah, you know, if, if Joey were to come in with a three bet ha and re-raise right now, then we can consider folding. But I think Joey's just going to trap. Yeah, there it is. and that's exactly what he does. Just making the call on the flop. Turn brings a deuce. 1.3 million yeah. in the pot. Uh, Sepiel perhaps now hoping to just get sort of a free wi river whenever he raises the flop and just gets called. I mean, he's put himself in a very difficult situation. Check. And he does check back turn. Rivers the eight. There's a full stack of the velvet there, 500,000 to go. But now, Sepiel, it's, it's an easier decision, right? We we beat absolutely yeah. nothing. <laughs> Lines are going to be up. One, two, three. Can't wait to see those. Chong starting to chip up at about 20 bigs. I say that, though, <laughs> right as we raise the blinds to 100K, 200K with a 200K big blind ante. And that means, Brent, there's less than 100 bigs on the table. Yeah, this is not going to last too long today. This final table should move along quite quickly, Jeff, considering how short everybody is. As we speak, I think we have a collision on our hands right now. It's Lou shoves for about eight oh. big blinds, and there's the reshove by Joseph Chong with ace eight. Not good news for Lou as Sepiel folds the queen jack. And here we go. Jing Lu going to be all in and at risk. This queen jack trailing the ace eight of Joseph Chong. Lou on the ropes. Nine five three. Backdoor straight draw is there for Lou, but for now, looking for a queen or a jack. Yeah, any pair will do. Can he find it on the turn? He cannot. Six outs. You can see him on top of your screen. Lou needs one of them to stay alive. Doesn't find it. That'll do it. Ching Lu out of fifth, $9,500. We'll see you in the next one. Off to the Aria poker room for him. <laughs> and Queen Jack. Flowers. No doubt going to hop right in that 2K. He's earned that seat with his cash. And final table finish. <laughs> Hope to see more of Ching Lu as this series progresses. Nine, of course. And it's $11,400 guaranteed to our final four. A little bit less than a 4K pay jump from fourth Pause to third. Pauses so awkwardly long. I'm <laughs> <laughs> not used to it. Uh, gotta make you sweat. Like the GG River. I was gonna say, it's like GG when it slowly peels. I swear, some people are masters at peeling it like it's extra super slow. 400,000. Do love that river GG peel. Yeah, do you use it? I yeah. don't use it. Well, you never can play GG because I have you've, had never, the you've never left when the United I was States in of Canada. America. All right, this was two years ago. All in. Uh, it was a All wonderful in. experience, Jeff. All in collision moment again. Sepiol just shoves with the ace five off after Chong opened. 2.6, 2.57. It's pretty close, suited ace six. You don't love it, it's a terrible ace, but you're 60-40 a lot of the time. Very rarely are you gonna be ahead of many aces. It is damaging to your stack. He just acquired those chips as 25 big blinds. Uh, he's trying to go the, you know, sort of small ball approach, but I wouldn't fault him if he called. Yeah. And into the muck we go. That one gets through for Sepion. 
Let's take a look at what we have on the horizon for the Poker Go Tour in 2022. Towards the end of this month, we'll play a high roller at Seminole, and then it's the Poker Go Cup. That's back in February, along with some Aria high rollers. Brent, you and I are off to Sochi, Russia. Yes, we are, in Jeff. March. Yeah, beautiful weather Triton, there right now. Super high roller series, super high roller bowl. Right. And then at the end of March, back to the U.S., U.S. Poker Open. Boy, we are all over the world, yes, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yeah. I need to get that TSA check-in thing at the airport. Yes, you do. It takes me so long to get through those gates. Seemed like Dixon thought about utilizing that chip lead to put some major pressure on here, but passed. Chong will defend with the 10-9. Comes nine seven three. Yeah, second best again for Sepia against Chong. Awkward spot. Just going to be a little deceptive, and also you you know it's defensive to check this back. I, we're not folding anything here on the turn. We can assume that Chong is going to come with a bet with that top pair. Sepia is going to have to match this. That bet is for four hundred K. The real decision is ultimately going to be coming right down here to the river, depending on what that texture looks like. Sepio concerned. Can Joey have a three? Absolutely. Can he have a nine? Sure, no doubt. Unlikely to be taking this line with some sort of seven. And there's also a variety of hands that he could be bluffing with. Uh, you're going to have to pay him right now, that's for sure. Yes, he does make the call. Oh, and the river brings the king ball. Howdy, for cowboy. 1.9 million in the pot. Uh, sort of a, a difficult card for Joey. Wondering if that could have hurt him in any way, shape, or form. And he slows down, going to check, going to knuckle. And I guarantee Sepiel comes with a value bet on the river, and Chong's going to have a very difficult decision to make with a nine. Probably just has to call, Jeff. How much is that value bet for? That's yeah. the question at the moment. You know, what kings can Sepiel have that he would have taken this line with? Would he have checked back the king high flush draw on the flop? Unlikely. Would he have called with ace-king? Yeah, maybe. King-queen, uh, probably not on the turn, but it's possible. It's one of those spots. Sometimes you just got to pay him the money. Especially for that kind of a price. Seven. Does make the call. King seven. Either set or two pair. Dixon says, yeah, pretty strong read. Three pair, yeah. <laughs> Sepio, up to more than five million in chips. Seven was a lot last night. 200k would be easier to figure out how much it was. Really is. <laughs> 125 is pretty rough. It's the lead with a short stack, 11 bigs. Nice, 30 minute <laughs> levels in these first three events. Chong in third, Sepio in second, Dixon our chip leader. And with the jack nine of clubs here. Yeah, he's gonna bring it here. Kick it up. Ace 10 suited for Saliba on the button with 11 bigs. Too much of a hand for Saliba. Yeah, we got to go with Just it here. Just about all of it. Well, 
Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Two hundred twenty-five. Too much. Too probably. much. Yeah, I don't think he's got too much to <coughs> consider. He just has too to much. throw it in the muck. Nice there thing. it is. No problem raising Jack Nine suited, and then Thank when you, you face the, the resistance, you gotta yeah. kick it yeah. into the muck. <laughs> What'd you check raise on the Jack four three? Saliva yes. so won the WSOP yes. online high roller in July, the 5K, for I I more than $250,000. I thought you had a jack. Yeah. Or at least something to call with. And they're talking about one of the first hands played today. Saliba yeah, made a world class fold yeah. with a top pair. Sure. Dixon tried to hit him with the check raise, and Saliba wasn't having it. Read right through it. Four? Jack 5 4 flop with Queen out. Jack against Dixon's Kings. And here comes Joey. Relentless. Despite the awkward stack size, started the hand with 15 bigs. He is attacking our chip leader with just King 8 off on the button. Good enough. He's going to find a little action. And Dixon will defend with the Jack 4 off suit. Trying to <laughs> fix a tire. Jack just what scares me. Oh. And it comes Jack 9 4. <laughs> Can you check Dark Wars then? <laughs> check. Check again. Check. Dixon checks in the dark again on the turn. Slick Dixon with the uh, Four. quick check blind Four. on the turn after having flopped two pair. Joey thinking, all right, I'll try and take it now. This isn't going to work. One point one million. The check raised to one point one. Oops. And just the snap fold by John. We got you with the second check out, didn't we? It's an easy game when you're running this hot. Dixon with about half the chips in play. He has been on fire. Number one in the great state of Wyoming, yeah. Jeff, as far as poker earnings are concerned. With almost a milli in live tournament Super earnings. Slick, yeah. table. Had two online World Series final tables in 2020 on GG. Seventh in the GG 50 stack for 43K. Eighth in the GG 1500 limit event for $10,000. You know, I like Dixon as well because of Wyoming, and, and there's a reason for that. Okay. One of the greatest quarterbacks in the history of the oh. NFL uh, played oh, in the collegiate history of the football. NFL, really? At Wyoming, and you know who that is, of who course. Who would that be? That Josh would be Josh Allen. Allen. That's right, Jeff. Should have seen that connection from a mile away. It's Dixon three bets. You just mentioned Josh Allen, and he's going to three bet. Or he has a queen in this spot. Yeah, the cards don't matter. The cards probably matter. Sepiel's cards aren't great. Hey, you and I were both there at the Aria Poker Room a couple days ago for a meetup game for Stairway to Millions. Yes, we were. That Brad Owen and, and Johnny Vibes put on. And look at this. It's just a blast. We're, we're making it rain at the Aria Poker Room. There's Brent Hanks. Hey, baby. There we go. Oh, all the chips. What a time this was. Just a 2 5 meetup game. Great turnout. Everybody having a blast. This gentleman won a seat in the 1K. We gave away two seats to the first event of Stairway to Millions. There's Johnny Vise. It's a great way to kick things off. We're certainly going to do that again next year. Put a meetup game together inside the Aria Poker Room. Have some giveaways, frequency just an incredible tournament series. What a way to start the calendar year of 2022 with the Stairway to Millions. Yeah, lively atmosphere in the poker room. It was an absolute blast. Sepion opens here with the ace-jack. Chong defends with the 6-4 of hearts. 9-9-9.
Oh, and no Brent, worries. you know, not that it's about me <laughs> because it's not, of course. <laughs> but I couldn't, I, like, I didn't make the package. I didn't make the cut on the, the meetup game recap. I was there for six hours. I gave away, like, all the money. I, I can't be put in for two seconds. Producer Zach, like, I just, who edits Who edits these? Well, Jeff, I, you know, it could have just been the... It's not about me, though. It could have just been the way your, you know, your face was bouncing off the light. You're a little uh, pasty these days. I got tan for about a week. You should have seen it. Yeah. Went to Cabo. Right. You should use that stuff in the shower again that gives you the fake tan. Oh, yeah. That I should help go you spray tanning again. Yeah, that would help. Just maybe just make a note. We can adjust that package in the future. Yeah. Just. So leave it with the King Six of Hearts on the button. Ten seconds. Well. I think this is just going to have to go in the middle, Jeff. Unless he's considering, uh, he's going to fold it, perhaps because Chong has yeah. 1.6 million. Chong about eight bigs. An ICM fold sort oh, of scenario. Go in the middle. He knows how often this is going to occur, blind versus blind. Double down. <laughs> Chong back up to about 10 bigs. I wish I could be in Vegas for the first three tournaments as Stairway to Millions. Great concept. Tom Wheaton, there he is. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, well, wish you could. Come on down. Why can't you be here? You can come on down for the fourth event, the fifth event, the sixth, seventh, eighth. Going to be here a while. Sounds like an excuse to me. I agree with that. A little bit. Did you get any sleep last night? Yeah, I was pretty tired. Yeah, I was tired, but I got no sleep. I played about 12 hours on day one, a little less. By the time I got the room, it was like 3 a.m. and I had to get up at 6. So. Oh, usually at, I live here, so. Yeah. My bed. That's you fall right asleep. Yeah. Ace Jack raises for a significant million. amount of chips, we'll call it. 1.5 million. <sighs> it's going to make it tough when we go play <laughs> 14 hours in the other tournament. <laughs> I'm just going to punt it off real quick. <laughs> go with some Javier's. <laughs> get it in with three ounces and just go get Javier. Oh, that's right. Do we we get a meal with this? I don't know. You, you mentioned Javier yesterday. Yeah. And I was like, damn. It's been a while since I had. Yeah, it's super good. I like the as well. Is it it's part of today? I don't know. <laughs> Sounded like it was, but I don't know. Oh, our players are well taken care of at the Poker Guys so. studio. You want good Javier's? Good. You got it. I mean, it's all almost all worth all playing for a thousand or two thousand dollars just to get that. Just Javier's, for the sweat right? at the Javier's. Uh oh. Yikes! Joseph Chong has run right into it as he rips oh. it with the Queen Eight of Hearts, and Dixon looks down, not just at the King of Diamonds, but the King of Clubs as well. Chong knows he's in trouble. Sees the bad news. <laughs> this table's been ridiculous. Yeah, if anybody can the get cards. there, it's this guy, <laughs> Chong. Right. He knows how to <laughs> crack the goods. Only last night at the end of the night. At I didn't have end. a big pair all day. And then he I saved it. For like at the right time, yeah. Dixon has been on a rush late in this tournament. He's probably I feel like you're losing this one. Though. I think you're just going to like flop a foot. You're good about this one? Yeah. I feel kind of good about this one. Wow. Yeah. He doesn't have a heart. It's huge. Just one heart, at least. 874 opens the door. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a couple hearts. Two hearts. Yeah. Heart, heart. <laughs> I'm flush drawing Four would be trouble. Chong looking for a queen or an trouble. eight. <laughs> Five or six. Does not find it Check on it the up. turn. <laughs> it's more fun on the river, <laughs> Jeff. Here that we go. That much is true. <laughs> Is that where All he right. will find like one of five oh outs? God. I'm not to stand up. Nah, it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Does the get it up, the walk away, and oh buries it on the river. Yes. Yes. Had to play, man. Did on purpose. That's well, how you do it. Up, yeah. You don't stick around in poker for that long with, uh, <laughs> without learning all the skills. You, just, you save it for the big ones. Joey the baby <laughs> the is for finds the snowman <laughs> on the river. Staying alive. The true pro I move. I lost, like, I, I won, like, uh, Wishing everybody good luck. Getting up from the table. And I, 
I went out. And spiking the eight ball. Yeah, Dixon, he's really seen it a million time. times in before. In he, nothing you can do but laugh it off. <laughs> I was actually waiting for this spot. <laughs> the one you want to win. Chong back up to more than 20 bigs. That was not a heart. Thanks, <laughs> 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 no. Andrew. Thanks, man. We have no. I have four million now. Mm. Wish I could surrender for half my bet back before the river. Like <laughs> <laughs> when you just feel it, you feel it. I was, I was pretty sure I was gonna win that one. Yeah, I was too actually. Especially when you stood up, I'm like, oh, he did the stand up. I'm yeah, he did that to me last head. night. Yeah, hurt, hurt. Like I'm. This hey, was say that was unplanned. Yeah. <laughs> that was run to the bathroom stand. Four twenty-five. <laughs> Chong trying to check. Like king, not allowed. <laughs> Fling the king deuce into the mount. Not that they're any good. On the 10 hot. 10 7 off. <laughs> Jeff, before that <laughs> hand started, what was the. Uh, <laughs> it's like there were a whoopee cushion out there? <laughs> I mean, it was something like that. That's what I hope it was. <laughs> this car's got back. <laughs> I mean, that, was, uh, back. <laughs> that was something else. That was else. intense. Where did that come from? That, that I don't know. <laughs> To get to the bottom of that one. <laughs> little conversation in the chat. Somebody oh, had a little yeah. too much on here. <laughs> That'll happen. We've all been there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've all been there. Oh, uh, YouTube chat, thank you guys so much for. <laughs> Table Joining us here. <laughs> quick like, quick subscribe. We'll be here every day with you. Rest of the way. All final tables, every single minute available for you to watch on YouTube. And Poker Go, of course, if you want to join us there. Flush draw for Sepio. Yeah, Chong a little will try to stab, stab by Chong. Could he limp in with a, an ace X holding? Absolutely. A queen. He's just going to try and take it down right now with a stone zero holding. Seven high, no pair, no draw. Sepio with a few of the puppy paws. Oh. He's going to come, come along for the ride and try and make a flush. And that's exactly what he does on the turn. And I think for Sepio, you really have to bet right now, hoping that Chong did, in fact, limp with an ace, bet the flop with an ace, and you know he's not going to fold here. You have to try and extract as much value as you can. Now, we can see this hand yeah. is over. But that's the line of thinking for Sepio. The best poker apparel is available in the Poker Go oh. shop. Brent, I mentioned that No Gamble, No Future hoodie earlier. Head oh. on over to shop.pokergo.com to check out our collection of shirts, hoodies, hats, and more, including exclusive memorabilia items. Shop now at shop.pokergo.com. Yeah, you can get some official table felts over oh. there, signed memorabilia. A little swag. Yeah, we've got new stuff on the way, too, folks. Make sure you keep an eye on that shop. You should see this. No gamble, no future shirt I'm oh, working yeah? on, Jeff. Oh, you're going to love it. Coming soon? Coming soon. Oh, yeah. Chong opens button. Oh. Dixon defends. No more checking dark for you. <laughs> it worked so well last time for you. It did work, though. It does out flop Chong here. I'm not feeling as lucky. 350. Dixon will check call. Try 
that's the four. Check, check. Zaddy McNutt in the chat. Great name, by the way. <laughs> Says he's going to buy the merch to let everyone know he supports Poker Go. Appreciate go. that. Zaddy. Do you know? Well, never mind. Do I know what? No, yeah. I was just going to ask about the name. He said the name was cool. Well, yeah, but what are you getting at? <laughs> just, just do. You, but have you heard that that name before? No. Okay. Is Maybe Chong Betts River here? Stone yeah. Bluff. He's trying to get a fold out of Dixon. Needs it desperately. Dixon might consider looking him up with bottom pair. And find the call with threes. He cannot. The bluff gets through. Thanks, Thank you. Joseph Chong. <sighs> Get much a dead heat for second. Sepio and Chong. Let's leave with a short stack, 13 bigs. And limps in nine four off for Saliva. <coughs> Hang in there, Jeff. <laughs> we could see that was Chong coughing. Yeah, Saliba day. has a spot with an absolute stone zero of a hand. He, uh, considering maybe sure. pile driving, knowing that Dixon is unlikely to limp with a strong holding. And again, Jeff, we don't know that. Mm -hmm. We haven't played with him, but Saliba has. If he hasn't seen Dixon limping with strong hands, limping with hands that he's going to limp call with, then you can jam a hand like 9-4 off quite comfortably, assuming you get a lot of folds. Backdoor draws for Dixon. He checks. Checks on the turn. Got shot for Saliba. And Dixon never once considered betting flop or turn seemingly has given up. Saliba recognizing that has a little bit of equity. Is it better to check with just 9-4 high or could we bet and win it right here? And he's going to it looks like he's going to take that approach. 400,000. This really should work. If Dixon finds any maneuvering right here, another check raise, some sort of resistance, then this is this is just pure instincts right here from Dixon. I have to imagine he's posturing and folding. Mm. There it yeah, is. well played, Justin Saliva. Nice bet. Saliva with Let's four Poker Go Tour caches last year. 73, right? I hope so. I got to go walk off two million chips. <laughs> <laughs> Finished 12th at WPT 5 Diamond. That's 
the biggest live score of his career. Yeah, he's been Speak knocking on the door. Yeah, yeah he's so a close. Lot it feels like. It's just a matter of time before <laughs> Saliba starts the sizzle. And credit to him, we gave him the easy answer when we asked him earlier if he was just on the wrong side of variance over this last year or two. And he didn't necessarily take that path. He said he's got to get better, got to improve, continues to work on his game. Really is committed to the craft. Yeah, you know, there's a lot to be said for not reacting to the downswings, mm -hmm. you know, making the best decisions, being proud of your game, being confident with your game. But it, it works the other way, too. Even if you start to have great results, it, you still need to be critical and analyzing, was I doing the correct play at the time? Did I make the right decisions for all the right reasons? You know, variance works in both directions. You can win all the money and play like crap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that, that's just truth. After limping in, Chong goes to 500k with the queen four. One second. And this is just great recognition by Chong. Yeah. He's going to put Saliba to a decision right here. Notice the five, well, not the five X sizing, but the larger sizing to 500,000. all it took to apply a bunch of pressure. Saliba calls, ace five deuce rainbow. Check. And really a favorable flop for Chong. Yeah, door He's open here perhaps. He has a gut shot. He's trying to represent some sort of ace X holding and this should be it. Beautiful stuff by Joe Chong. Continues to accumulate without really having any hands to work with. Chong up to more than 5 million in chips. Here's what we have coming up throughout the next week. It's Stairway to Millions. It's a final table every single day. Tomorrow the 2K, then the 4K, then the 8K, the 15K, the 25K, the 50K. And we cap it all off with a $100,000 buy-in. A cash in a Stairway to Millions event gets you a ticket into the next Stairway to Millions event. So after these four are done here, they'll be off to the Aria Poker Room to fire off in the 2K. It's event What's number two. I think I have like yeah, five million. Clock's running. How much do you have, Dave? Okay. 4.3. Four, four Thanks. And Bren, our blinds are up Your once again. 125K, yeah. 250K with a 250K big blind ante. So about 75 bigs on the table. Saliba less than 10 of them, and with ace 10 on the button. Yeah, we know that this is an easy decision for Saliba. He knows this is an easy decision. He's just he's taking as much time, trying to look maybe weak physically, considering his options. Two million. There's only one. Two million. Two million to go, effectively all in. Hoping to walk into a worse ace and find a little action. Oh. Uh -oh. Not hoping to run right oh. into jacks, and Sepiel no, just no, says no. call and reveal the cards. Saliba was not all in. I mean, I'm not going to flip it back over. Yeah. If they saw it, right? We're not, not in the hand. hand. No. We're not in the hand. Doesn't really matter. Is that right? Pretty sure. Well, I mean, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Well, I don't care. Yeah, maybe we'll ask. So Saliba did leave 350k behind. Sepiel thought he was in for all of it. It's all right. It's all right. in the restroom. We'll wait for Did Paul Saliba not to see the by. hand? Is that possible? I believe that's correct. I think Chung and Dixon saw the hand, so okay. Saliba asked to see it. All right. But, of course, at this point, Chung and Dixon are not involved in the hand. So if this came ace-jack high... Yeah. And yeah. Sepiel moved it in. Yeah, Saliba could call. then yeah. fold. Absolutely. Realistically fold if he were able to see but the right, cards not like sure Chong and Dixon did. Otherwise, he has no idea. Well, I'm a fan of drama. Me too. 
I saw one jack, but that was, I don't know the other one. I didn't see anything. I can. Well, we see two jacks. Huh? And then turn them back over real quick. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Here comes Candace. Here we go. Bring in the sheriff. It's completing the action, too. We had already filled it. Um, so he bet two million. He said he called, but he said he was all in, and he exposed his cards. Um, he flipped him over and flipped him back. His cards again. Or no, no, we're not flipping them back so over. I saw a jack. Well, it's okay, though. Yeah, you can we're just based off of what you okay. think that you saw, but I'm not going to turn them back over. We're okay, just that's fine. That's fine. Thanks. Okay. okay. There's the ruling from Candace. All right. So well, this is interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is, you heard Saliba say he did see one jack. So if, even if it did come jack high, uh, Saliba doesn't know that it's pocket jacks. Saliba will be presented with the decision Whoops. here on the flop. Is oh, all just shoved? <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it comes King Four Deuce. It's quite a first hand fight. <laughs> dead, I think. He's good? <laughs> I'm dead. Oh. <laughs> Not dead. Not quite dead, but Not doing great. needing a significant amount of help. Uh, dead would be Jack Four Deuce. We're okay here. We can win 15% of the time. How about a five? I was thinking of Jack, same thing. Does that have that backdoor <laughs> wheel draw? Yeah, I like, I like Jack better. Oh, yeah. Good also. Yeah, hey, I was written for you quick. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Find an ace. Still a good shot for you. <laughs> Minus same the ace out. Yeah. yeah. Justin Saliba all in and at risk. But I'm rooting for uh, World of Women to get 20, though. So. Me too, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh, a queen. Yeah. Yeah. Almost a queen. Yeah. And that backdoor Broadway draw, yeah. that comes in. Sepial does have yeah. two of the jacks, but. First sweat. Yeah, first sweat. Feeling Saliba eight. could find one of the other two or one of three aces. Oh, yeah. I think it's a six. River card. It's the Talk deuce. Game, guys. Good luck. That, that does it for Justin Saliba yeah, out in fourth. A for $11,400. And Brent, of course, we'll see plenty of this man throughout the week. Absolutely. We'll see him throughout the course of the year on yeah. the Poker Go Tour. He'll play the majority of the Stairway to Millions events. Class act, great player, continues to knock on the door back over fast. of success. <laughs> I mean, I knew he wasn't all in, but I just like to flip my hand over quick when I'm all in. Yeah. I hate when people don't flip their hand over. Right. Respect that. Good forever. And Mr. Hanks, we have a new chip leader. New chip leader. Stan Sepial. Indeed, it is Jeff. Resides in Bloomington, Indiana. Wonder if he's a Hoosiers fan. Perhaps. Fifteen thousand two hundred guaranteed to our final three. Thirty-eight hundred dollar pay jump from third to second. Chong opens here. Chong the shortest stack, but still at 20 bigs. A fairly even split among our final three. Yeah, it, Dixon. it's anyone's ball game right now. No one running away with this thing. It's, it's a coin flip away from having a new chip leader every hand, considering the stack sizes. Uh, Dixon, uh, we know he likes to defend from the big blind mm -hmm. with pretty much any two. 6-5, automatic call. Let's see three. Every pot, oh so important. Here comes king at 10, seven. Significant advantage to Chong here. Chong bets, Chong wins, Chong moves into second don't place. The when it gets down so short. We do not reduce the ante here. Reduce the ante when it gets this short. It's not here. It's, not the wind, it's a it? full big blind ante. In the Heartland Poker Tour does. Sepiel for the first time today, opportunity to be the aggressor in various spots pre-flop. Look at this, Dixon has kings again. Oh my gosh. For the third time today, Dixon looks down at two kings. Yeah. 
He will raise the men out of the small blind. Opens the door for Chong to fling in some chips with the 9-4 off. Yeah, quickly just calls 9-4. Jack 5-3. Two spades. Joey likes to fight for pots, yeah. but I don't know if we've got enough of this. Just nine high. We do have the four of spades, backdoor straight draw. Uh, quick fold by Mr. Chung. I was scared. He folded already. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> Our dealer was please just please getting queen eight. Please don't have queen correct eight. amount. The stakes are raised for poker's biggest rivalry as Tom Dwan and Phil Helmuth put up $200,000 each to battle inside the Poker Go studio in Las Vegas on January 26th. Watch High Stakes Duel 3, Round 3 on Poker Go. Use code DUEL33, DUEL33 to get $20 off a new I'm annual sure subscription. It's, it's back, work. baby. High Stakes Duel, <laughs> Helmuth, Dwan. Get in the ring. Let's slug it out. Must be Miss Dell. <laughs> I don't even want to look. Well, it's been a long time since we've seen a high stakes duel before Can't wait for the that World to Series. Woo! Now would be a good time. But if you remember, so Jeff, well. Dwan won the last matchup. Finally, Helmuth, somebody got right. him. We didn't think that Helmuth was going block. to rematch, yeah. and then finally he just he couldn't oh, yeah. take it any longer. He <laughs> said, screw <laughs> it, I'm in, I'm coming back. I, I got to beat this guy. No fun when the rabbit gets the gun. Queen 10 of clubs for Chong on the button with 20 bigs, he'll open. King four off for Dixon. As you said, Brent likes to defend. Yeah, he likes to get busy from the big blind, which as the game theory would indicate is quite correct. It does flop the majority the king. of the time. A couple backdoor draws for Chong. Yeah. Yeah, Chong thinks that this texture is dry enough to fire. It does have some backdoor equity as well. A couple of straight draws, flush draw. Perhaps if we make a queen or a 10, we can have a winner. One point. And there's that check raise again from Dixon, which I think, correct me if I'm wrong, we've only seen when he has it. Right. He's never done this with a bluff. But he's had it a lot and regains the chip lead. Rich Dixon out of Wyoming absolutely loves the format, the concept of this series as we take a look at his bio board presented by GPITHM, married with three kids in Wyoming. A contractor, he invests, he trades, and he plays poker. He's been watching poker go for years. He's always loved the idea of being part of a high roller but doesn't want to put up the 25K or 50K or 100K. So he's using Stairway to Millions as a route to get there. He's Jack for Sepial here. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, Queens now for Dixon. Yellowstone. He's got it again. Both about start the hand with around 30 bigs. About to be a geyser exploding in the middle of this table. One point two. Pretty small three bet to one point two million. Brutal spot for yeah. Samuel Ace Jack is just a powerhouse of a hand, three handed on the button. What has he seen from Dixon over the course of two days? Has he ever been out of line when he's been three-betting pre-flop? 
Uh oh. Just runs right into the queens of Rich Dixon. Ace jack up against those queens. And Dan Sepio is on the ropes. The first event of Stairway to Millions. Who's got more? So I don't know what I'm rooting for. He, he has more. Okay. But, okay. but a queen's coming. A queen of hearts on the clock. Not saying it's not going to have a king or a ten, but a queen of hearts coming. We should do that. Like doesn't six, need the queen, six, but. Seven. Yeah, just under seven. I guess he's thinking that it wouldn't hurt. Should I do the stand up? <laughs> that would, king, king, so ten. A queen would now would fill up. Ahead. Dixon. Oh, okay. yeah. I, I got to learn these things. Sepion needs <laughs> to find an ace. You should have given me a cheat sheet before. Give him or Broadway. king, king. And oh, turns I. the ace of diamonds. <sighs> All right, give him two pairs. <laughs> now it's Dixon Still looking for a queen or a jack. Or he is absolutely decimated. Now I'm not a hedge. Should I stand up now? It's aces oh, full no for Sepiol. Continuation. Old faithful so erupts. Check, it's, it looks Dixon's cool. day know, seems know. done it's at two, the moment. Two. He's going to be left with 500,000 mm. chips and just like that. A bad beat served up by Sepio. Dixon loses kings to queen eight and then queens to ace jack. <coughs> Seven point one. Hard to get your money in better than that over yeah. and over Three, again. Four, and that is five, just six. poker, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is going to be gross. What did you say? 7.125. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 6.7, 6.8, 6.9, 7, 7.1, 25. Do you want to confirm? Oh, well, Probably just one just of your one stacks. That's fine. Yeah, we're going to count them out. YouTube chat, what do you think of that? You ever been there before? <laughs> I'm sure you Sick have. game. They're slick. Five. Jeff, you ever been to Yellowstone? I have not. Yeah, not more. Not really an outdoorsy guy, huh? Not really a national parks guy, but if I had to go to one, I'd pick Yellowstone. What's your problem with the parks? I love the parks. Just not really a parks guy myself. Respect them, though. Anyway, look at our leaderboard presented by Storm X. Sepia on top. Almost 15 million in chips. Joe Chong about 3.7, and it's Rich Dixon left with just two big blinds. You know, you really gotta get out there and experience nature. It's Yellowstone. It's one of the oh, wonders sure, of the world. Amazing. I've seen pictures. It looks great. It's incredible. But I can it's see that in the fine. pictures. <laughs> you need to experience it, Jeff. Drive around, yeah, get out so there, breathe count. in the air. <laughs> you know, touch a geyser. Why would I touch yeah, a geyser? A little warm. <laughs> Become think, one with the, the oh yeah, bison, like the you, buffalo. Yeah, like, I'll watch the TV show. How about that? It's a good show, supposedly. It's just you've sad, it. really, what you've become. Just a what sort I've become? Of a I've always been this. As a kid, uh, you never ran around in nature. Went to the park down the road. You Dixon know. with just 575K left and the Queen Five of Hearts on the button. <laughs> Don't think he needs the time banks for this one. Uh, get it in there. All in. Yeah. There we go. Every single chip what in the it? middle. 525? Mm -hmm. Is that a needle? <laughs> Chong in there with the 8-4 off. Sepi on with Jack-10. Oh, I'm going to get the triple up. Five seventy-five. Right? He said it. This is yeah, actually a great spot to get a little triple up. Plenty live. Yeah, Got the twice. best hand. <laughs> Got queen eye. Twice. Twice. Pretty much. I, I mean, I was too pretty great that. spot. You were late. Come on, Dixon. Who's not rooting for this guy? Right. Other than you, who hates national parks. Well, a seven deuce with one heart. 
So far, so good for Dixon. Turn card, another ace. It's still there. good for Dixon. River card is the me. five. Oh, me too. And that'll Nuts. triple up <laughs> one Rich Dixon. That. Up We're to back. about eight bigs. Oh, yeah. You, guys. <laughs> you know, Never he deserved that. He deserved that after suffering a Ooh, couple no pretty horrendous beats, all things considered. There's Sunk justice in this game after all. Can somebody cue the Rocky thing. Yellowstone. <laughs> he said cue the Rocky theme. You know he's a big Rocky fan, Brent. Who's that, Jeff? That would be one Daniel Negreanu. Oh. Who, who has uh, joined us in the YouTube chat. Hello, Daniel Negreanu. Happy New Year to you, sir, and to everybody checking us out on YouTube. That's where Coke we will can, be. Dan, to you, That Jeff. is right. We will be on YouTube every single like day throughout Stairway That's to Millions like for every lot. single minute of these final tables. <laughs> it's something Hello point more. something. Point one -ish. It's something point something. That's, that's all I know. It's more than 575. What's that? Oh, yeah. Sheesh. That's a lot. All in. All in. You don't even want to let me count it? <laughs> oh, Dixon's going to look Dixon down at a good it. one. Well, when he looks, right. he knows he's going to be calling. Let's Here we go. Get them on their backs. So, look at your action. Oh. Okay. Dixon all in and at risk and ahead. Back, right? <laughs> With the ace back. five of clubs against Sepiel's queen six. River Royal Flush like he did last night. <laughs> If he wins this, Dixon would move into second place. Jack 10 deuce. So far, yeah, so I good. Was I thought it was too. That's a good flop. That's not uh, bad. The light shining off, I thought I popped a flush. Turn card is the ace. <laughs> now I gotta stand up. The gut shot <laughs> is there for right. Sepion. <laughs> Needs a king to eliminate Dixon. You should make some cliff notes for guys like me. <laughs> guys like you, you can do anything you want. River is the three. <laughs> I know, I just need to know. And look out, thing. folks. Here comes Rich Dixon. We got mount up. This man's going to ride a buffalo to the promised land. First place on Dixon's mind here in the studio. And that's really the key to success, Jeff. You just you grin, you spin, and you win whenever you get short. Oh, the stairway to millions. Grin, spin, and win. Look at this from just two big blinds to about 15. Of course, Chong now our Local. short stack. He's probably not thrilled with the outcome of the last two hands. And a $3,800 pay jump from third to second. Just texting his group chat now, saying, well, a lot of expletives in that chat. <laughs> oh, said he is. Takes the pressure off. Poker Go Tour presented by Guaranteed Rate last year. We saw Ali Amshurovich lift the trophy, win $200,000. Will be this year. Once we hit the 15K mark at Stairway to Millions, these events will be a part Let's see. of the 2022 Poker Go Tour. And from there, it's just a jam packed first three months of 2022. Dixon rips it with the King Five. That does the trick. Would you believe kings? No. Would you believe pocket king? No. Pocket king? No. Single king? Pocket king? I definitely don't believe any of that. I definitely had pocket king. Every cash in a stairway to millions event gets you an entry kings, into the next tournament. 28 players cashed in this 1K. Right that means those 28 up. also get a seat into the 2K tournament, which is going on right now. That's me again. 
I'll give you a little update there, Please Jeff, do. on the uh, 2K. Oh, Who we got? So last next. I saw, we were up to about 100 Ooh. players, which is just a remarkable turnout, 101 to be exact. It's Current already chip more than double the guarantees. Zach Einyart. Second is Brandon or Brendan Schiller. Salim Admon, Curtis Powell, and Jovan Santiago round out the top five. Now, worth noting, Justin wow. Saliba is in sixth place. There we go. Saliba right gets in. I saw Brad Owen firing this one. Chance Corneth. Johnny, the name. vibrator is out there. I think it's, I think it's Johnny Vibes. Oh, 4.28. It's Johnny Vibes. 2-4. Right. Actually. Right. Alex Foxen My in the mix. Shannon Shore, yep. Katie Lindsay. Kind of England. Speaking of uh, Katie Lindsay and kind of England, they have just been on fire. Absolutely. As of two of the top two females playing in the game right now. the biggest cash game pot of my life for that hand. Actually despise it. Should have known the guy had it tattooed on his forearm. <laughs> the blush. Raise and take it for Sepial who has no follow ups on the cash game story. But I'm interested, Rich. Just no questions from Dan or Joe. Five of clubs now for Dixon Chong. Started the hand with 10 bigs. Very small raise out of the small blind by Dixon. This is going to open the door for Chong to see a flop here. With the 7 6. Maybe a shove suits Dixon better here. Although when you know the flop is just gonna come King Jack five, sure, race just a little. Yeah, it's Dixon's day. Thought he was on his way out, headed back to Yellowstone. I don't think so. Five's full now. Fill him up. Chong not biting so far. Bet at least 250, but doesn't matter. Could have bet 100, John would have folded. Would you believe full house? Yeah, I would. <laughs> Show one. Let's run both. I know, I'm both talking with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll believe anything right now. Yeah. I can't tell stories, it's going to be on camera. <laughs> Please tell stories. I've seen people. Want I like stories. And then they look silly a half an hour later yeah. when the table looks at the <laughs> Back continues for Rich Dixon from 575k to 4.5 million in chips. It's like 1.6. 1.575. Uh, Dixon knows if he raises here, he'll be committed to Chung's stack if he were to move it in. Sand is good enough. Dan Negrano is tuned in. He'll be proud of Dixon. 10-7 <laughs> suited. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Decent timing to look down at a couple aces. 1.7. Uh, whoops. <laughs> boy, if he can get away from this, I don't, think, <laughs> I don't think he can. But uh, if he does. 1.1 1. 1 more. It would be remarkable. Just getting a great price to call with 10 uh, 7 suited. We'll you got to hope your hand is live. Dumb thing. Yeah, it does. Well, easy, just take it back. 
Make that call and he'll see <laughs> two aces. Oh, you got a good ace. Best, yeah, it's the best hand I can have. 21%. Oh, you got a diamond. So it's Chong all in and at risk in Middle pretty win? good shape. Oh, wow. Should I stand up? <laughs> you don't need to. Okay. I'm going to do it anyway just for the trick. Chong felt good about his <laughs> queen eight against Dixon's kings and got there. Now feels good about Dixon's 10-7 oh of diamonds. What a flop. And Dixon does flop the straight the flush diamond. draw. Ten or seven, a little, a little more slack. Yeah, a little more slack. Black ten. Yeah. Pick up five more outs. Turn card. It is a seven, so more outs on the top of your screen. Sixteen of them for Rich seven, Dixon seven, to eliminate seven, Joe Chong. I'm like thirty-six percent. Seventeen. Thirty-six percent. You 36%. nailed it. Oh, you have it. River card. It is the jack of yeah. clubs. What a fade. Turns Joe Chong up to 4 million in chips. 1.7. I'll break one down. That was a dramatic run out. It certainly was. I thought we were going to have the opportunity to shout out Mincy, Smitty, Nate, cracking aces. Oh. That podcast was about to come to life right here on the show. But all for naught, Jeff. Aces survive. We're three-handed. How do you have aces? First aces. Yeah. Chong in the second, Dixon back in the third, and the blinds are going up. I'm getting out of line. 150K, 300K. Oh, With a 300K big blind nice ante. Nice. <laughs> you had a good hand. Yeah. That's a good flop. That was an even better turn, but I, I don't do all of So now just a little more than 60 bigs total. Uh, Set the all. There's about 40 of them. And has an ace. And Dixon started the hand with nine bigs. He shorted me. He can double me up again. I'd appreciate it. All in? And all the chips go in the middle. All right. I'll try. All right. Mm. And Dixon is jack eight. Huge. I don't think we're seven calling bigs here. behind. Yeah. yeah. Pretty sure this is a fold here, Jeff, with Jack Eight. You'd rather be moving it all in rather than calling it off with just Jack Eight high. Even this short. This is so marginal. Two big blinds too many, I think. And I'm not suited. Not a good one that time. How big? Yeah. And Jack Eight. It's really marginal. I wish I could have phoned a friend. I would ask Joseph, but he probably wouldn't give me. He would have told you to call. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? And Jack Eight. Seven bigs back. Not suited. I'm not, I don't know. I haven't played much poker lately. <laughs> <laughs> I've like 3.6. Okay, Says the man who finished 64th at WPT 5 Diamond well, and in the same week the finished 4th at the Win 5K Winter yeah, Classic Yeah, I think he's been playing a lot of poker, Jeff. <laughs> Being a little facetious there. Suited. Just depends suited. How, depends how lucky you feel. Okay. And the 5-7 was the scariest call for me. So I feel with Ace Queen. I'll double check. Yeah, he's just going to go bananas here. Just move it in. I'll double check yeah. myself. Although Joey Just does have hands. fold equity in his One. stack yeah. if he wanted to try and induce, but Sepiel's just going to keep it very similar and familiar. Move it in here. Move it in with worse. He could get oh, called yeah. by a seven. For two million behind. Um, yeah, he's going to yes. fold. Exactly. My least favorite hand. So you're saying Sepial's hand may be too good to shove at uh, times. Yeah, like, right. I mean, think <laughs> about it. If he just min-raised to 600, what would Joey have done with a seven? Would he have considered moving it in? 
thinking he gets a lot of folds there. Sepiel could be opening wide. But if Sepiel had the A7, you like just the shove all day with the 13 bigs yeah. effective. Yeah, and I think Sepiel will be consistent. I think he'll be shoving quite yeah. wide on the button, so he's going to include the good with the sure. bad. It's weird we have to. It's not just an ICM calculation. It's getting into the other tournament as well. <laughs> we're, we're burning equity over there. King at nine of diamonds, all of it for Chong. And Sepiol with ace 10. There it is. Nod no. says, okay, let's go. <laughs> Joseph Chong all in and at risk. That's a fair fight. Slight underdog here. But who are you rooting for, though? I'm rooting for us to get in the other tournament. I want to I be with you guys at the next final table for the next. <laughs> I don't know how many big blinds we're going to have when we eventually get over there. Mm. Uh, the next tournament on the stairway to millions is a 2K. <laughs> Joseph Chong doesn't want to go there quite yet. Nope. King in the window, but an ace behind it. It is the ace of diamonds. <laughs> Here comes Chong. He He's going to stand up. He knows that he can bring a king or a nine with the classic stand-up move. Yeah, seven of diamonds. For sweat. The turn is the four of diamonds. There's the board, though. Takes that nine ball away, adds, but adds, out. adds the diamonds. <laughs> John like looking for a king yeah. or for a diamond. I still think that one, though. He's like a head. GG. GG. <laughs> is it there on the river for Joseph Chong? It is not. It's a 10. Oh, Aces and 10s. Let's see over there. And Joseph Chong is eliminated in third place, $15,200. Yeah, another Sorry, podium <laughs> for Joseph Chong, $15,000. Automatically <laughs> registered for the 2K. I got it, I got it. Going on inside the Aria. He'll make his way over there and try and build a stack. Uh -huh. These are his. Sepiel continues to separate himself. A massive chip lead now. Heads up against Dixon. Yeah, for the first time in Stairway to Millions history, we are heads up for the title, a significant chip lead for Sepiol. He's at about 17 million. Can Rich Dixon find a way at about an eight to one chip disadvantage? Heads up play coming up. Event number one of Stairway to Millions. I'm gonna send you off to some highlights and we're back in 10. That one almost doubled. Hot start for Dixon, looks down at two kings. Say that again. He came in as our chip leader, as you pointed out, more than 50 big blinds. And he is just attacking relentlessly with the goods. Saliba with a pretty one on the button in the form of the Queen Jack of Clubs. Seen Justin Saliba more and more over these last couple years. It really has taken poker to the next level. Loves to compete with the best players at the biggest buy-ins. Awkward stack here, 30 big blinds with this sort of hand. Queen Jack suited. I think it's good enough to maybe consider peeling. Let's take a flop. Chopping so Sepio out right of the now, We can wait till the last second to play. I don't know. I, that's a good question. Because that'd be, that'd be a great. Jack 5 4, trouble so for, for Saliva. <laughs> I heard, I know if we didn't make the final table. Yeah, I think you play, yeah. yeah so I'm not <coughs> I keep forgetting late red clothes at like Dixon three, check. Three really so nice good. check by Dixon. No. Extremely dry yeah, that's, that's texture. Good. He's yes. hoping his opponent so has connected first. with this sort of hand. Perhaps trying to dial up a check raise. 250. Saliba connects. Saliba fires. 250,000. Brent, there you go. You said it. There is that check raise. And just puts Saliba in a horrible spot. To make matters worse, Anushar has five big blinds in his stack. Seemingly would be out in a heartbeat. 1900 hour pay jump from sixth to fifth. Hold. 
Wow. Fantastic lay down by Saliva. <coughs> Just gets rid of the Queen Jack. That is a tremendous fold yeah, by Saliba. Perhaps a little history between these mm. two. Now you're like kind of new to poker. You don't have to announce fold. I didn't want to uh, use a uh, time. <coughs> Flew to Vegas just for this series. It's quite the start for Dixon. Chong with fives and a little bit more than 12 bigs. The muck. Maybe wondering why he would fold oh. fives. Well, it's because he knew Dixon had two queens behind <laughs> right, him. Right, that's why. <laughs> hey, how many big points do I have? Three hundred thousand. Uh, new shark considering things with. Queen 10. It's just so short. He knows he's obviously getting called. I'll tell you what, he's lucky he doesn't have Queen Jack there. A couple Broadway tickets Ooh. he might be going in. Now this is trouble. Lou in oh some no. trouble here with just more than 20 bigs and with nines in the big blind. Oh. That's just call. You've got to give him credit Absolutely. for taking the lower variance approach rather than moving it all in. Jack three. Well, all of a sudden now we can easily get away from our two nines on this sort of Broadway texture. Check, check on the flop. Turn brings the four of hearts. Yeah, Lou contemplating maybe a little bit of a... A feeler bet, Jeff. Something small. 400,000. Just in one. case. Just nice in case high. we're up against Ace High. We can get a little bit of value. He's hoping his opponent would simply fold here and seize the bad news. Here's the deuce. About 1.6 million in the middle. Oh, my. Reaching again. I, I can't make sense of this one. 700,000. The lead for 700. He's absolutely it, turned nines into a bluff, yeah. whether he knows it or not. Dixon in sort of a, a tough spot, right? Looks like a king, could be a king, but we beat plenty of bluffs. And for whatever reason, when an opponent has a hand like, well, nines, I don't know how he's got that. We're ahead of that as well. There are plenty of bluffs that Probably do lead turn. I don't know what the river bet is designed to accomplish. Unless he thinks he's trying to fold out some sort of jack or yeah. perhaps two queens, two tens. Like last night, make it so tough on a guy. I think he's just got too much to of a hand to fold here. Sometimes you got to pay him the money, Give Jeff. Just make the call. We'll see the good news. <coughs> yeah, I just misread my stack and folded a, a pair. <laughs> you had a set? Well done. No. Oh. You're the best. <laughs> wow. <laughs> John, let's go of the fours and hijack. For Sepiel, again, kind of similar to Joey's fold with the fours. It's awkward. Here, we're going to go ahead and just try and get away with it with a min raise. Maybe we get heads up against the short stack, which just looks to be the case right now. That does happen, at least for now. Oh, okay. Anushar Shav is for 350K. Lewis, queen 10 in the big blind. 350? 350. call for wow. those of you new to the game in this specific scenario after Lou called Sepial did not have the option to re-raise could only call or fold one more seat does call and we have 1.2 million in this pot Puck 
comes 10, 6, 3, all diamonds. Might look like good news for Anushar, but Lou is the better pair of 10s. Ace on the turn. Sepiel takes a commanding lead. Yeah, and a quick look back there by Lou, seeing if that queen happens to be a diamond, <laughs> and it is not. Uh, a stranglehold now on the hand for Sepiel. A good opportunity, I think, to bet, deny some equity and protect that hand. Get value from a 10, 50, from a worse ace. And of course, you know, you don't want a free flush draw to have a look at that river. <laughs> it loose in a really bad spot. It, it looks like his opponent should have an ace. Why else would he be betting? Opportunity to bust the player, and here we go. Cards on their backs. Yeah, he'll be thrilled when he sees this. And you sure all in at risk. 10 or an 8 on the river to stay alive. And that river card is a 3. Good game. Good game. That'll do it for Mike Anushar. Out in 6, $7,600 on the board. Less than 100 bigs on the table. Yeah, this is not going to last too long today. This final table should move along quite quickly, Jeff, considering how short everybody is. As we speak, I think we have a collision on our hands right now. It's loose shoves for about eight oh. big blinds, and there's the reshove by Joseph Chong with ace eight. Not good news for Louis. Sepial folds the queen jack, and here we go. Jing Lu going to be all in and at risk. It's Queen Jack trailing the ace eight of Joseph Chong. Lu on the ropes. Nine five three. Backdoor straight draw is there for Lu, but for now. Looking for a queen or a jack. Yeah, any pair will do. Can he find it on the turn? He cannot. Six outs. You see him on top of your screen. We are heads up for the title of event number one of Stairway to Millions. So welcome back to Las Vegas, Nevada. Welcome back to the Poker Go Studio. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks, Dan Sepiola alongside Rich Dixon. Mr. Hanks, we are heads up for the title, and Dixon has some work to do. Yeah, well, Rich Dixon, if he wants to get any richer, is going to have to take over this chip lead in order to walk away with the title. But he is up against it right now. Only six big lines, 11% of the chips. It is all Daniel Sepio at the moment. Sepio looking to close it out. Career live tournament earnings of more than $700,000. For his fourth career title. The trophy stands by. 150K, 300K. I think you would have called. 300K at <laughs> Big Blind Ante. Dixon just I folded the 9-8 off. Sepio at ace queen. It could have just been over right then and there. Oh, yeah. For sure. I did that. Go home with two handed shove. <laughs> <laughs> 19K guaranteed to our final two. $28,500 up top. A look at the payouts presented by Storm X. All in. All of it with the King Seven. Dixon with Jack Eight. Take inventory. With about four and a half bigs behind. Good call. And it all goes into the middle. Mm -hmm. Rich Dixon all in and at risk with the jack eight. Good luck, Stan Sepiel's like, king I seven. I don't know if I have to circle the chair. 
how it works. Actually, I'm, I have a good feeling about this one, finally. Dixon takes his seat, thinks we play on. It'll be the first time I've come from behind this whole tournament, though. It's pretty impressive. If. It feel, feels like I'm due. East 9 9 flop. No help to Dixon. 10 for Does the turn offer cool. any help? That's it not does not. Sweat. Could find a three for the chop on the river. Otherwise, Dixon will need a jack or an eight, or this one is over. River card. It's the five and the first title <laughs> saving the time on the color up. of Stairway to Millions <laughs> goes like, to Dan Sepio. We'll he wins $28,500. Yep. <laughs> Brent, there is our champion of event number one. He really played great. Uh, you know, he flies below and under the radar. Uh, wonderful performance. His debut inside the Poker Go studio along with this guy, the runner up. Thank you. Rich Dixon from Wyoming. He takes home $19,000. These guys quickly going to head over to event number two that's running the 2K. Uh, their stacks will be in play momentarily. Hopefully, we'll see one of them back at tomorrow's final table. That'd be the dream, and what a story this is. Rich Dixon flying in from Wyoming for this series specifically wanted his shot at the high rollers, and folks, he just might have it. He finishes in second for $19,000. Dan Sepiel, your champion, $28,500. Joseph Chong eliminated in third. Justin Leba, Justin Sully bowed in fourth. Ching Lu eliminated in fifth, and it was Mike Anushar out in sixth. What a way it was to kick off Stairway to Millions, a new format, a new concept. Brent calls it Poker's Parlay, a beautiful, trophy stands by so now we move on on the stairway to millions next up it's the 2k so what do you say we see you tomorrow for that one for our entire crew and brent hanks i'm jeff platt thank you all so much for watching stairway to millions